Chapter 17, Fear of Bananas. Quote, Everywhere is within walking distance if you have the time. Stephen Wright. I don't know if this is only for people who've been floxed or folks in benzo withdrawal, but wildly irrational fears seem to abound in this process. Let me restate this. It would appear that the fears are irrational. Some are, some aren't. When you've been injured by a prescribed medication, when you've followed the rules and still been burned, it's hard to trust. There's trauma in realizing that even when doing everything right, your life can still be turned upside down. With this distrust comes quite a bit of hypervigilance. Things that you took for granted now seem suspect, and everything has the potential to harm you. For example, I learned that artificial sweeteners, sugar, caffeine, soy, and dairy all seem to make me feel worse. Supplements that I would have never second-guessed taking pre-injury, like vitamin D or an iron supplement, magnesium, all became potential villains in my process of healing. I began to fear food. I had heard bone broth was good for healing the gut. I started making my own bone broth and drinking it a few times a day. Then one day I woke up covered in hives and with terrible headaches. Soon I learned that bone broth, especially the way that I was making it, is super high in histamines. Coming off certain medications can destabilize your mast cells, causing histamine reactions. I explained my hives and newfound fear of bone broth to my dear friend, who was also in benzo withdrawal, and she admitted to me, I know what you mean, I'm afraid of bananas. It takes a lot to make me laugh when I feel like I'm hanging on by a thread, but when my friend admitted she feared bananas, I laughed so hard I thought I'd come unglued. So my fear of bone broth and her fear of bananas were not necessarily irrational, They were founded in the trauma of having had a bad reaction, but it became essential to try to rein in my fears a bit. I couldn't be afraid to try a different vegetable or fruit for fear that it would set off my symptoms. What I had to learn the hard way was too much of anything can be bad.